Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the first intermediate grade for the second semester of this year. Our subject, as you know, is the English language from the book Full Plus Two. Our lesson for today is 3E, a day to remember. This is the second part, so today we have speak and write. This whole lesson is prepared and it will be presented to you by Sultan Shahrani. So, first of all, thank you very much all of you for being with me. I'm really, really happy to be with brilliant students like you. The second thing, I want to make sure that you understand our book is full plus two. It is not super goal, it is full plus two. The third and the most important thing, I want to ask you something. Everyone, are you ready to begin our lesson? Very nice, let's go. Today we will learn Number one, read about hanging out activities Number two, speak about hanging out activities Number three, linking words or phrases Number four, write about hanging out activities So today the most of the things that we have relates to hanging out activities so it's reading speaking writing and of course with writing we will learn how to link words or phrases together speak and write a read and put the pictures in the correct order write from one to five so we will listen to this paragraph this small paragraph and after that, we will try to put these pictures in the correct order. So which one of them is number one, which one of them is number two, which one is number three, and so on. Okay, let's go back. I want you to listen, then we will get back together to complete the order. Listen, everyone. Three. Speak and write. Last Saturday, Ibrahim and I spent the whole day together. First, we went skateboarding. Ibrahim's a great skateboarder and showed me a lot of stunts. After that, we walked around the city for a while. Then we met some of my friends at a fast food restaurant and had lunch. Later, we all went to the stadium and saw a football match. Ibrahim and I are both big United fans. After the match, we decided to go to the fun fair. Something incredible happened there. We were on a ride when suddenly I saw Wayne Kemp, my favourite United player. I was so excited. It was the best day of my life. Very nice. Excellent. So let's go to these pictures. So what do you think? Which one of them is the first one? Which one? What do you think? Very nice, this one, B, can you see it? B, very nice. You know, we have this sentence. First, we went skateboarding. So this one is the first one, this is number one. Number two, what do you think? Which one is number two? A, C, D, or E? Excellent, it is E. E is number two. Let's go back to make sure. After that, we walked around the city for a while. Isn't it? Very nice. Yes, it is. Number three. What about number three? Which one is number three? Excellent. C. C is number three. Let's go back. Then we met some of my friends at a fast food restaurant and had lunch. Very nice. What about number four? Number four. Excellent. D. Very nice. D is number four. You know why? Because we have this sentence. We all went to the stadium and saw a football match. Very nice. And the last one. A. That's right. The last one is A. Take a look. After the match, we decide to go to the fun fair. Very nice. 
So, A is number 5. Okay? Very nice. Thank you very much, everyone. B. Think about an interesting day in your life. Look at the questions in the speech bubble and make some notes. Then talk in pairs. Let's take a look to the questions. Who were you with? Where did you go? What did you do there? What time did you go home? Did you have a good time? Very nice. So, I want you to make notes, small notes, small notes uh, of these questions. For example, the first one, who were you with? Who were you with? So, for example, I will say, I'll give you an example. Then after that, after the lesson, I want you to do it on your book. So, I'll say, for example, my brother, okay? My brother. This is the first one. The second one. Where did you go? Let's say, for example, to a restaurant. Okay. To a restaurant, okay? This is you, okay, everyone? Restaurant. So, you know, it's not a full sentence. Notes. We call them notes. Uh, what did you do there? Mm, let's say, for example, had... dinner, for example, okay? Uh, what time did you go home? What time did you go home? Let's say, for example, 11.30 p.m. Okay, did you have a good, a good time? Of course, yes. We had a good time. Yes, it is. So, can you see these notes? It's just only notes. It will help you later with the writing if you want to write. Okay? Very nice. C. Read and complete the paragraph with linking words or phrases. So, at first, we want to know what do we mean by linking words or phrases and how can we use them. Listen. We use the linking words or phrases to describe events in the order they happened. To describe events in the order they happened. So we use linking words or phrases like first, after that, then, later. So first, what did you do? After that, what happened? Then, also what happened or what did you do? Later, what happened? Okay, so it's order. You can make them in an order. Okay, so first, we have to use it with the first thing. With the first thing that happened. The first thing, okay? Remember, first, with the first thing. After that, then, later, we can use them with the rest of the sentences. With the rest of the actions or things that happened. So you can, after that, use after that or maybe later, Maybe then. So, it's the same. It's the same. No problem. Let's see. We have an example here. Last Friday, I spent the day with my cousins. We went to a fast food restaurant and had a snack. So, what do you think? This is the first thing happened. Listen. This is the first thing. This is number one. So, we have to say... First. Exactly. First. We went to a fast food restaurant and had a snack. Number two. We went to the bowling alley and hung out there for about an hour. So what do you think? What should we say here? Very nice. After that, maybe then, maybe later. You know, one of them is good. In any one of them is good. It's okay. After that, or then, or maybe later. Okay, so you can say, after that, we went to a bowling alley, or then, we went to a bowling alley, or later, we went to a bowling alley. Number three, we went to the skating rink and had a great time. We went home at around 11 o'clock, we had a fantastic time. So, what do you think about this one? What should we say? Very nice, after that, maybe then, maybe later, one of them, one of them, any one of them. Okay? Very nice. So, now you got it. 
D. Write about an interesting day in your life. Use your notes from activity B. So we have to use these notes. You can use these notes. Can you see them? My brother to restaurant at dinner, 11.30 p.m. Yes, we had a good time and so on. Let's go back. Okay, so at first we, you have to start with last. For example, last Saturday, blah, blah, blah. Last Monday and so on. Last Friday and so on, okay? There is a small tip. Let's see what we have. Plan your writing before you start. Make notes. So you have to make notes as the one that we used in activity B. Notes. It's very important before you write. So, I want you to write notes after the lesson. After the lesson, I want you to make your own notes and after that to write a small paragraph like this one. I will give you my own. Okay, so I'll give you an example. I'll show you my paragraph. This is my paragraph. Listen, everyone. Last Friday, so you have to start with the word last and the day. Last and the day. Last Friday, my brother and I went to a restaurant. Do you remember the notes? My brother and restaurant. It was amazing. First, okay, you know this is very important. I want you to use these words. First, then, after that, later. I want you to use them, okay? We want to practice with these words. First, we ordered some food because we were very hungry. Then, we had dessert. After that, we got back home at 11.30 p.m. Later, we played video games for two hours. We had great time. Okay, everyone? So, I want you to write your own piece of writing, but before that, you have to make notes at activity B. Then, after that, you can use it just to make a paragraph, a small paragraph, just like this one. Okay? Don't forget this one. This is just like a homework. You have to write it. Very nice. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson. So today we learned, number one, read about hanging out activities. Number two, speak about hanging out activities. Number three, linking words or phrases. First, after that, then later. Uh, number four, write about hanging out activities. Those are the references that we use today. Full Plus 2 Student Book, Teacher's Guide, Audio, Google Clip Arts for Pictures. For more information and lessons, this is the website, the Twitter account, the telephone number for AIN National Education Portal and for Tatweer Company for Educational Services. So, as I said before, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you very much, all of you, for being with me. I hope to see you next time. This is Sultan Shahrani. Goodbye, everyone.